with jet propulsion laboratory scientists learning from the past mistakes as they navigate the Opportunity rover on the surface of Mars, there's some new and exciting information coming about from past results from the Spirit rover mission that confirms our view of Mars today on Planetary Television. NASA's Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity uses navigation camera to take the images combined into this full 360-degree view of the rover's surroundings after a drive on a 22,220th Martian day or so of Opportunity's mission on Mars, which, which was on April 22, 2010. South is at the center, north at, the, at both ends. Opportunity drove 10.18 meters, about 33.4 feet, towards the south-southeast on Sol 2220. The drive had been planned to go farther, but one precaution included in the command sent to Opportunity that Sol was for the rover to pause after about 10 meters and check whether its wheels were slipping more than 40%. This was a safeguard against having the rover's wheel sink too far into the sand, which had been the result of the Spirit rover earlier this year, where it completely got stuck in the sand and at this moment remains stuck in the sand. The slippage had exceeded that amount, so Opportunity did then not try to drive farther. After receiving data from the Sol uh, 2220 drive, the rover team assessed the situation and decided that the wheels were not sinking excessively despite the slippage. At the recharging batteries, Opportunity continued to drive in the same direction six hours later. Opportunity took some of the component images for this mosaic on Sol 2220 after the drive and the rest on Sol 2221. Wind formed ripples of dark sand make up much of the terrain surrounding this position. Patches of outcrop are visible to the south, south which is down. For scale, the distance between the uh, perio wheels, wheel tracks is about one meter or about 40 inches. The site is about 6 kilometers, or 3.7 mi um, miles, south-southwest of Victoria Crater, which was the, is the destination and start of the Opportunity mission. NASA's Mars rover Spirit began its Mars exploration at its landing site in June, or January 2004. As of early June 2010, the rover has been at a sand trap location called Troy for more than a year next to the western edge of a low plateau home plate. Lengthy detective work with data uh, collected in late 2005 has confirmed that an outcrop called Comanche contains a mineral indicating that a past environment was wet and non-acidic possibly favorable to life. Spirit used its panoramic camera to capture this view of the Comanche outcrop 
During the 609th Martian date, or Sol, of this rover's mission on Mars, uh, December 11, 2005. The rover's Mosbau spectrometer, mini test, or miniature thermal emission spectrometer, and the APXS, or Alpha Particle X ray spectrometer, each examined targets on Comanche that month. On June 3rd of this month, 2010, Scientists using data from all three spectrometers reported that about one-fourth of the uh, composition of Comanche is magnesium iron carbonate. That concentration is ten times higher than any previously uh, identified carbonate in a Martian rock. Carbonates originate in wet, near-neutral conditions, but dissolve in acid. The find at Comanche is the first unambiguous evidence from either spirit of its twin opportunity for a past Martian environment that may have been more favorable to life than the wet but acidic conditions indicated by the rover's earlier finds. Basically stating that the existence of such a high quantity of the magnesium uh, iron carbonate states that there is a low acidity thus allowing for a greater possibility of life to have existed at that location. Now, this image, Comanche, is the dark reddish mound above the center of the view. The image is presented in false color, which makes some differences between materials easier to see. In, uh, it combines three separate exposures taken through filters admitting wavelengths of 750 nanometers, 530 nanometers, and 430 nanometers. The main Comanche outcrop is about 5 meters, 16 feet, from wavelengths of 750 nanometers. Now, from left to right from this perspective, the paler material visible at bottom right is part of another outcrop called Algonquin. 